Okay, we're trying to flush out a torus heater core. Um, typically, from my experience in automotives as a novice, you, you want to back flush a heater core if you have to do it. On this Taurus, a 97GL, uh, this thing is a crud type of cooling system. It just develops a rust type of matter that's been a problem in design, something with the engine. This is probably a best example of what I'm talking about. This brown colored fluid in here is, the, is, is what was left of some antifreeze in the heater core. In back flushing this engine, um, the water pump was generally what feeds the heater core. In other words, the front of the engine, which is over here, is where the antifreeze is going to move into the heater core right off the top of the front of the engine where the thermostat is and it will exit the heater, heater core and return to the engine at a line at the rear of the engine or some other port. Uh, in this car the rear of the engine which is actually the driver's side over the transmission casing has this connection that I'm showing right here that I removed from the engine and have slipped a smaller diameter hose into the end. It fits real snug. It's a good uh, uh, way of doing this, I've isolated, by doing this, I've isolated the heater core. As you can see, there is a, a tap on that hose that I'm not going to use. I don't want to bother with the engine at this point. I'm just interested in flushing the heater core because the driver of this car complains that there's no heat. On the other end, which is the front of the engine, I removed the line that actually goes into the firewall and... Uh, placed a piece of spare heater hose that I had on that line, the steel line, and um, again into that hose I placed this green smaller diameter hose that has a fairly snug fit. So it works really good in, in flushing this out. I can also reverse these hoses real easy and do the opposite, but uh, from my understanding of mechanics, the, uh, the back flushing is the important part of flushing a heater core. So I'm going to proceed to have my assistant turn the water on and try to contain this mess uh, to this bucket because we're inside an, uh, an in interior of a garage and the weather's cold and I don't need any more slop on this floor than I can handle. Okay, as suggested in one forum on a uh, website for Tauruses, I took an air hose from a compressor and held that into the, um, actually it's the other end of the line here. You have to break the, the line from the, from the water faucet and, and just hold the, the air hose in there and blast it again with air, compressed air to help get the crud loosened up in there. So I'm presuming that's working. We've just done that. And now I'm going to go back to water flushing. Okay, I've got the heater hoses reconnected after flushing the system out back and forth and using compressed air. I also recommend that if you have trouble with removing hoses that you get this pick. It's an automotive tool meant to pull back a hose from a uh, line connection after you remove the clamp. It comes in very handy. Believe me, it saves a lot of knuckle busting and physical effort. I got this at Harbor Freight. It's not really very expensive. I'm sure auto mechanics use it in their shops quite a bit.